G'day, I'm Joel from Airborne and we're backstage uh, on the Kerrang! podcast. And you're watching that because I'm talking to you. Welcome to the Kerrang! podcast. We're backstage day three with Joel from Airborne. How are you? I'm good, thanks. What's going on? Yeah. You already played today? Oh, we have. Yeah. How was the set? It was great. Lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, everyone was there. It was really good. You like to run around a lot when you're on stage, climb everything possible. How do you calm down when you're off stage? Oh, I just have a couple of beers, <laughs> and uh, usually that sort of calms things down. Yeah. Uh, if I was to have a Red Bull, it probably calm things back up. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, nah, it's always good. Um, yeah, a few beers and hang out with all you guys, and yeah, yeah cool. What do you make of Sonosphere as a festival? I love it. Sonosphere's are always great. They've always got a good, um, good bill, um, really well run, and uh, there's always yeah lots of rock and rollers here and heavy metal maniacs ready to go for it yeah. and obviously you you know your sound is more of the classic sound there's a lot of punk going on we've got hardcore how yeah. do you think your sound is so important to a festival like this well i mean you know england was well you know that was gr- i mean you guys were born and bred on status quo led zeppelin sabbath uh the who yeah. you know like classic rock and roll but it has fundamental power to it and what we do is i mean it's rock and roll but it has a power and that's what I've always loved about The Who. They're one of my favourite bands. And it's just when they really hit something, they hit it so hard, you just feel it all the way to the back. And they put in, you know, all those great bands, they all put in. And that's what, you know, growing up in Australia, we learnt that from, from that. And then, of course, Aussie rock and roll began with Thorpey and, and the Tats and ACDC and the Angels, and it just went on and on and on. Um, so if, you, if people kind of wanted to maybe take a step back, almost, and like, know, you know, what are the three classic tracks they need to know? from like three of your favourite bands, where would you tell people to start? Oh, okay. Um, well, I'd probably say um, Billy Thorpe. Most people I know think I'm crazy. Uh, I would say Roast Tattoo, We Can't Be Beaten. And then I'd say ACDC, Long Way to the Top. Amazing. And Metallica are playing a By Request set tonight. They are. are you going to stick around for it? Absolutely. We're here all night. So we're going to be we're gonna be right up there getting into it. We, we did a show with them in Switzerland actually two days before here. And uh, yeah, it was a blinder of a set. Yeah. yeah. It kicked off with battery, and then it just like just went two and a half hours of just non-stop yeah. hardcore Metallica. Yeah. And they're really good. They're so good. You watch them going, okay, we've got to get better. <laughs> what um, song would you put on there that hasn't been chosen already? Um, like I haven't seen a set list. What do you mean for tonight? Yeah. Well, one of my favourite Metallica songs is "Hit the Lights" or "Motor Breath." I love "Motor Breath" or "Whiplash." Any of those earlier ones, or even like, you know, uh, Fuel, I think it was Load. Yeah. Even up to that, Load's great, you know. Um, oh, blackened, you know. Yeah. Great, I love it all. Amazing. So what's your plan after Sonosphere? What are you doing for the rest of the summer and the rest uh, of the year? Okay, we've got more festivals coming up uh, through Europe and abroad. Uh, we're going to Russia for the first time. Okay. That's going to rock. Um, yeah, that's gonna, really going to rock. And there's, but there's a bunch of festivals coming up. We actually are going to be playing with Status Quo. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I always love those guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, touring. And then we do Canada for a month and a half, and we're back here with Blackstone Cherry for a uh, for a tour through for, through the UK. Yeah. That's going to rock. How do you think a place like Nebworth kind of fits in with the importance of kind of rock in all of those countries? You're traveling the world, so what does it mean when you come to a place like this? Oh well, I mean, like you know. You, you have to think of it like we're a long way on the other side of the world in Australia. You hear about this place called Nebworth. You know, you know Led Zeppelin have played here, Deep Purple, the Sabs, Black Sabbath. That's what we call them back home, the Sabs. I don't know if you call them that. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, so many great bands have made a big stand and, and, you know, and put these great shows on here on this ground. So we're like, when you play here, you've got to leave your own mark in the dirt. That's what we do. Yeah, I think you've done it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, no have worries. a great rest of the day. All right, cheers. Enjoy Metallica. Grab a bit.